the Lord's Prayer. Why don't you pray it with me right now? Matthew 6, 9 through 16. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. When the disciples asked Jesus how to pray, Jesus gave them the Lord's Prayer as a model. This prayer is perhaps the most well-known and most often repeated prayer in the world. I've prayed this prayer together with Episcopalian priests, with Lutheran pastors, with Baptist ministers, with Orthodox believers, charismatic laymen, and even a Catholic archbishop. In many languages and in many countries, the Lord's Prayer is loved. One pastor broke the Lord's Prayer down into these elements. The first element is Papa. It says, Our Father in Heaven. God is our Father. This title expresses the close personal relationship that God has with us, His children. The second element is proclamation. It says, Hallowed be your name. Hallowed means to honor that which is holy. In Old Testament times, your name was an expression of who you were. So when we honor God's name, we honor Him. The third element is promise. It says, Your kingdom come. Ready or not, God's kingdom is coming. This is the cry of every believer who is waiting for the Messiah. Can you really pray this verse and mean it? Do you really want God's kingdom to be built or do you want your kingdom to be built? We must submit to his lordship. When the king tells us to go, well, he must go. The fourth element is providence. The prayer says, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This phrase asks God to make his kingdom manifest here on earth, but it also calls on us to implement his will in every way that we can. God's will is done in heaven at all times. We must pray so that his will can be done here on earth too. Number five is provision. It says, give us today our daily bread. In the desert, God provided daily manna for the Israelites. At the Last Supper, Jesus made the bread a symbol of his own body. When we ask God for our daily bread, we are asking for daily sustenance, both spiritual and physical. Never worry about tomorrow. Just thank God for today's provision. Number six is pardon. The prayer says, Forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. Jesus told the parable about the man who was forgiven by the king and then refused to forgive a much smaller debt. This phrase reminds us to walk in forgiveness towards others. When you plant a seed of forgiveness, you're going to receive forgiveness yourself. The seventh element is protection. The prayer says, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Even if you walk through the valley of death, God will be there with you, and he will protect you. The eighth element is praise and power. It says, For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. All praise belongs to the Father. All power belongs to Him. This phrase reminds us of God's omnipotence, His omniscience, and His omnipresence. He is all-powerful, all-knowing, and eternal. And so today, when you pray, pray the Lord's Prayer, the model prayer that Jesus gave us when His disciples asked Him how to pray.